Well, good morning. Once again, it's 10 o'clock. Uh, I just can't get out here really early with all the crap we got to try and get done in the mornings now. Um, so, as you can see, it is not raining. It did rain on just a touch overnight, but not much. Um, they're saying rain after four. So, what we need to do is we need to get this right here sanded down. And because I know we're going to be like into like real fiberglass this time, I'm going to cut this up, wrap it around my face so I can breathe through it, double it up, maybe even wet it so that it'll help catch dust particles. We got, we got old skull and crossbone. We got the old dancing skeletons on here to try to keep fiberglass off my forehead. Got a shirt on with sleeves and a neck. Ugh. I mean, we already got like 182% humidity out here. So anyway, we're going to cut this up and then, and then get started. All right. See you in a bit. Is it perfect? Hell no. Will it keep me from breathing some of that fiberglass crap? Hopefully. It's better than nothing. Maybe. All right. So, of course, I didn't put any on the back side. So, as soon as I started to sand the stuff off the top, it re-cracked. Um, I guess we're just going to glob some on back here. And call it good and then hope the primer fills in the little crack in the top I decided instead of taking it all the way down which I don't think it really needed or maybe it did to make it look good I don't know I wanted to get all of the metal flake off I figured that was the thickest layer and then once I got the metal flake off the rest of it would be oh, we got a, just a little over here but that might be it is what it is at this point. I'm not a body man. Never played one on TV. Didn't stay in a Holiday Inn Express last night. It's just going to be what it be. And hopefully that's just a little bit better than it was before. When all that black spray paint was flaking off of there. And it, it broke corner and s split up here. Which we're going to have to... <sighs> Maybe it'll be better. Maybe it'll be the same. Might be worse. All right, so we uh, we just put a little on there and mixed her up right there, and then put a little of it around here because this was this stud was loose. Um, we put a little there, and we took a little dab of it and put it over here, which put some underneath of there, and then globbed it on there and. Yeah, it ain't. I'm not a body man. Um, that'll probably have to take care of it. We'll sand down the outside of it. I'm I'm not even going to touch this. I might spray it, just paint it. Nobody's going to see it. It's going to be on the hood. Um, All right, that's probably as good as that's going to get. Um, I mean, you can feel some of this stuff anyway. Especially like that and there. So we're just gonna we'll buy some high fill primer and we'll put that on there. And we'll, um, it'll be what it is when it's done. It won't look great, but maybe it'll look at least as good as it did before. Oh well, anyway, it's after 11 o'clock, probably 11.30. Let's get that brake drum off. And that right there, folks, is why we need a hood scoop. Yep. And that's a little air cleaner. And she ain't gonna work without a hood scoop. I mean, it might work if I took the spacer off, but I really want to run that open spacer, so. So, to run the open spacer, there's what we've got. It'd be all right. Put the hood scoop on and shoot some paint on it. Well, we washed it all off. Now we need to go to town and buy some high fill primer. And 
it's it's still in rough shape but it's what we've got so it's what we're going to use